Alright, what's up guys, it's Jung here and today we'll be unpacking um, Astro Locker, one of the latest sample of Astro Locker. Um, so I download this sample right here and it's packed the same way as the latest version of Conti Ransomware that just hit the Irish Health Center. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty interesting way to pack malware and uh, we'll, see, we'll see how to unpack it in this tutorial kind of. So first we put it in PD Studio, um, see how it looks. Um, so right off the bat, we see that the entropy is pretty high, 6.5. It's probably packed or obfuscated in some way. Let's see, indicator, we know it's malware, so this doesn't mean anything. Um, let's see, text and data. Uh, sections are pretty high in entropy, so the executable is probably somewhere in there um guess we'll see um so it has a bunch of import interesting um yeah so resource string had a bunch of string i don't really recognize these seems like seems like they are using code from pre-compile libraries yeah it's probably pre-compile um yeah nothing too special we can't really tell what it's using or like what any of these strings mean um you know yeah so you know it's not really helping i mean we know it's packed just throw it into ida see how it looks all right oh Right off the bat, we see these calls, right? Which is kind of weird when you think about it. Why are we passing zero into handle, right? Like a handle windows. Or why are we passing zero into a string, right? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, again here, it's pretty weird, right? Zero, zero, zero. Right, virtual protection take in zero as parameter, right? The address or the size. So what this does probably is a way to throw exception, right? If you give um, invalid parameters into Windows API, it's probably gonna give you some kind of um, exception. So this is just their way of throwing exception. And these checks are probably for, um, yeah, these checks are probably for anti-debug, anti-VM, that kind of stuff. Um, let's see if we can spot the function to unpack. Um, don't really see it. Yeah, this seems like a mess. I'm just going to save time. It's not, let's not do this in Nido. So, the best way to unpack stuff is probably throwing it into x32 debug. In this case, because it's 32-bit um, executable. So, um, so the idea is that we try to catch when it allocate memory and write the um, unpack executable into memory, right? So we do that by setting a quick point on virtual alloc, virtual protect, right? We also want to try and catch if it spawn another process to execute that um, region of memory. So create process internal w, right? Now we good. Uh, yep. Right, run. We see virtual protect hit. Not sure. Um, we haven't allocated anything, so this is probably just garbage. Yeah, it is. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, don't care. Right, it's not executable. Um, run. Oh, we run into an exception. Right, and. We are inside NTDLL, which means the Windows API in NTDLL is throwing an exception. This is probably one of the checks that we talked about before where they pass in a zero parameter and you know it crashed the uh, Windows API. So let's just run it again. Right, we know virtual protect is hit, let's return from it, right? And now we jump out to the the lock um, the packer, right? It has like kind of a loop right here, so I just jump over it. This function is performing some checks and it also throw exception if we fail. Let's see if it 
No, it doesn't throw any exception. So we are good there. Going push zero call EDI. Oh, yep, EDI is um, local size. So when you call local size, um, that's not good. Um, so local size, yeah, local size takes in an H local, which is the um, a handle to the memory returned by um, local alloc. So it shouldn't be zero, right? If we step over this, this is probably gonna give us the same error. Yeah, yeah, we get this, right? So let's run it again. We kind of know where the um, the packer is failing us. Um, it's right here, failing, right? So since we are failing that, right? Let's just see where this loop is. Yeah, this loop is right here. It keeps going through and checking, right? So um, let's just jump away from this loop, right? Let's just jump to the end of it because we know this is probably just a probably an anti-debug checking loop maybe. So let's just jump to after it, right? So basically we bypass everything that it checks for. So this is 58D. B, right? So we want to find 5A, B, B. Boom, jump here. And let's hit breakpoint down here just to be sure. And we continue. Let's see if this gives um, an exception. Oh, it gives a virtual alloc, right? That is good. So now we hit return. Um, the allocated memory region will be in EAX. Yeah, it's empty right now, so let's run and see if anything is written to it. Yep, this is, it looks good. Um, let's see if we can recognize anything. Oh, error locker. This is just mount locker um, locking stuff, but you know, we, we, we kind of know that this is probably the, um, the raw executable um, that we need to dump, right? And right here you can see the uh, ransom node, right? So we probably know this is this is the, um, the final executable. The only thing is that we don't see the MZ header anywhere, which is kind of weird. Let's see if they um, actually write to memory um, the header. All right, another virtual alloc. Region. Oh, and we found it, right? MZ header looks good. Let's see if it still has the string. It does, let's see. Yep, ransom no, everything is good, right? So now we know that it just dumped the uh, executable into the um, virtual memory region. So we just follow in memory map and we see is that region right here. Dump memory to file, go to astro, and we do unpack astro, okay, right? So now we have this, let's turn it into P bear. Um, maybe we have to, you know, map it into memory and align it so we can get the import. Oh, doesn't seem like we need to. Everything is imported properly. Everything looks good. Um, yeah, so I think I think this is already good to go. Let's see P Studio. Yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, okay, so. Let's check in IDA. Make sure it looks like Co. You know, it's no like weird jumping and all that. Yep, and this is Mount Locker or Astro Locker. Um, and yeah, that's basically how I go off um, unpacking a sample such as this. You know, pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. And yeah, if you guys like the um, the video, feel free to hit likes and subscribe. In comments if you want. Um, I'll try to make more of these malware analysis video in the future and I'll include the uh, all the information of the sample in the description below. All right? Thank you.